101 FM. Welcome back to the front row on 101 FM. Kevin Brasher and Craig Crowley here with you. Reminder, you can find us on facebook.com slash the front row 101 FM. Also on Twitter at front row 101 FM. So make sure you head there and uh, follow us and like us on Facebook and Twitter. Also, we're on YouTube. You can check out some of our old interviews like the ones we did with Lottie Takiri and Corey Parker last week. But now it's time to talk some intra Super Cup news. The South Logan Magpies, who have been good friends of the shows uh, over the last couple of years, they made a big amount announcement yesterday and joined us on the line to tell us all about it is their coach, Mr. Josh Hannay. Josh, welcome back to the front row. Morning, gentlemen. Mate, it's good to have you back here on the show. As I say, big breaking news yesterday. The South Logan Magpies no longer going to be a feeder club with the Canberra Raiders. Instead, they're going to be aligned with the Brisbane Broncos from 2015 Whoa. onwards. Josh, how did this change come about? Um, I guess the first um, you know, meeting of which forced to get change of mindset for us was when we myself and Jim McClellan, the CEO, went down to Canberra towards the back end of our season just to see where we were at in terms of our relationship with them moving forward um, and coming away from that meeting um, it, it was clear then that you know things as they are now with, in terms of our relationship with Canberra were no longer going to be. They, they, they could no longer contribute the, um, the, the financial resources and also the personnel um, to to our club that they have in the past, so basically forced our hand in a way to to, to look at our options and and um, and I guess you know the obvious one for us was to look at our own backyard and 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 and, and, and sort of try and open discussions with the Brisbane Broncos and um, so the call was made. Um, several several meetings, several discussions have, have taken place. I guess over the over the last few weeks and, and uh, which culminated in that um, announcement yesterday. So it certainly uh, wasn't an overnight you know, decision and it's certainly one that was a hard one for our CEO, Jim McClellan, to make because we have a great history with the Canberra Raiders. But mm. I think in our discussions with them this week, that they've been very understanding of, I, I guess, the reason we've made the decision to, to break away from them. You know, they just, they themselves do know that they couldn't, commit to us like they have in the past and, and it sort of left us with no choice And but in saying that mate that's I think it's what it's meant is that you know the relationship we're going to have with Brisbane moving forward to me just makes a lot of sense um, in so many for so many reasons and I think it's a great result for, for rugby league in the Logan area Josh the other side of this is geographically this has got to be a real big uh, bonus for you guys because you know Canberra, obviously, not in obviously in another state. Um, it's very hard to keep an idea of, you know, how the um, or how you can monitor other players, the travel side of it, um, their relationship with um, training and all that sort of stuff. Now you've got them that they're next door. They can make training sessions. It's not a burden on the players. They can still, you know, probably sleep in their own beds. All that sort of stuff. Hmm. It's got to be an amazing bonus for you. Oh, exactly right. The the, the 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 bonuses and the benefits of this relationship are, you know, um, span across the whole, I guess, um, business in terms of us as a football club. From obviously the, the football side, which is very important, but you know, I think corporately it's going to be a huge uh, benefit for us as a club to to attract sponsors and and people to want to be involved in, in our in our club. But from the football side, mate, as you say. Um, purely that you know geographically that the proximity of the Broncos how close they are to us it's going to make uh, life a lot easier in the, in the, in the marriage of, of the two clubs um, a much easier one to work as you say those players that we'll get from the Broncos on a, on a weekly basis as opposed to just having the one station with the guys which we did with Canberra um, I'm, I'm under the impression we'll get you know two sessions a week in now with these guys we'll get from Brisbane, um, and that that's a huge benefit. So basically, we're getting double the time um, with with their plays as we as we had been getting with the Canberra guys. So it's going to be a huge benefit. I think it's going to really. Um, I think it's going to help us greatly as, as a football side next year. Yeah, Josh. The other thing about it too is that 
look, I, I haven't been in this situation before, but obviously I, I reckon you'd find when you've got a side that's in Canberra, when the players come back to play with you, they feel a little bit left field. They don't feel part of the group because they're not in that uh, southeast Queensland sector. Now, because they are, even though they're still wanting to play at the Broncos, they can feel as though they're still in their Queensland. Because we all love our Queenslanders. There's no ifs or buts about that. But to say you know, he's going to be still in Queensland, still in touch with what's going on, it's that's got to be a bonus for the player individually as against, you know, they're a bit ostracised being down in another state. Yeah, definitely, mate. And I think one of the, the things that um, got lost in the, the whole relationship with Canberra and for those players that came up here each week, because those guys that came to us never played a home game. So you know, right. coming to us, coming to us each week, even though they were playing for us out of Davies Park, they were actually on a plane every single week. So oh, yeah. essentially, they never played a single home game in, in, throughout the entire year. So that, that that that's a that's a huge thing, you know. Whereas as you say, now with the relationship with Brisbane, you know, essentially these guys are going to be playing home games every second week and um, it's, it, it's just going to make things a lot smoother and I think it's I think it's going to allow um, the players that we get from Brisbane it's going to allow us to get the best out of them because as you say they, they're able to, to stay at home and they're not they don't have to get on a plane to travel and play for us they just have to hop in their car and come across the training and um, it might sound like a little thing but I, I know that the, the, the flight that those guys had to take each week from Canberra to come and play for us became quite taxing on those guys um, sort of come mid-year. 26 minutes past nine here on the front row. Kevin Brasher and Craig Crowley with you. We're talking to South Logan Magpies coach Josh Hannay about the, the Magpies move from the Canberra Raiders across now being aligned with the Brisbane Broncos for 2015 onwards. Mate, we've been talking a bit about how it's going to impact you guys on the field and impact the players that you do get back from the Broncos and how the, you know, the positive sides of that for it. But what about the day-to-day running of the club there? How will things change at the Magpies now that you're associated with the Broncos? Day to day, it won't change a whole lot, mate. As I said, um, in regards to the, the, I guess, the sponsorship side of things, and, and, and where I see that benefiting us as a club, I, you know, the Canberra um, relationship with us, um, the benefits we got out of that were, were, ba- were really all were sort of football related. But you know, we're getting some players; um, they're investing their money into the football department side of things. But in terms of what our sponsors got out of the arrangement. There really was no flow on effect there, whereas, mm. you know, I envisage, you know, a sponsor of our club now, if they're having a, an open day at their business or whatever, like, you know, and Brisbane have said this, they can they can send along a, you know, a Sam Thiday or an Anthony Milford or someone just to yeah. pump the day up a little bit and, and, and attract, you know, tr- attract people to the day. So for the first time in a long time, and this has been discussed uh, at, at sort of board level during these discussions, you know, sponsors of the South Logan Magpies can now get a little bit back, you know. For a long mm-hmm. time, they've invested their time and their money basically out of a labour of love for the club, but haven't got a whole lot back. But uh, with this, you know, arrangement now and this new relationship with Brisbane, there's there's definitely the, the uh, potential for our sponsors to get more bang for their buck, I've got no doubt. Absolutely, mate. And there's a strong connection sort of with the Logan, South Brisbane area with the Broncos and you know, the area, as I say, there. you look at guys like Anthony Milford who's coming to the club, Corey Parker, who was their captain this year, of course, is a Logan boy. Uh, there's that connection there as well. And there's also the Broncos who announced earlier this year they're opening a high-performance centre for juniors in Logan. Does that sort of open the door for the Magpies to get guys through that performance centre? Guys, you know, juniors go into that performance centre, into the Magpies, and then onto the Broncos. Is that a clear pathway now for guys coming out of the local area? Yeah, I think in a perfect world, that's exactly how you know we'd see that see it working. You know, the kids coming through our Cyril Connell, which is our under 16s, um, through Melbourne Ningo, our under 18s. You know, using that academy, um, and just a, a direct pathway now right through the grades. So, and if, the, if 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 those young guys don't progress on to actually going all the way to play for the Brisbane Broncos, well, you know they're stopping at South Logan Magpies Q Cup. Side, you know, it's so it's it's a very clear pathway. I think a good example at the moment is, if I could use this, is at the moment this year's uh, Wynnum Colts side. I think there were six South Logan kids playing in that Wynnum side on on Broncos scholarships. Mm. So that 
that's no longer going to happen. Those kids are just going to stay in our system with that direct pathway now into the Broncos uh, system. And, and that'd be fantastic to see the local guys getting to play for their local club before they develop and hopefully go on and play NRL as well. It's probably too early to say, mate, but do you have any idea of which players you'll be getting back from the Broncos for next season? Has that been any indications at all given from Brisbane? No, not as of yet. Like, I've obviously got a, a wish list, which I've made sort of um, <laughs> clear to, to Brisbane of, of guys I'd, I'd obviously love to, to have access to, but... Um, you know, as I've made clear to to, to, to Brisbane and my discussions with them, it, it's it's ultra important that I'm just trying to build the best possible squad I can here on the ground at South Slogan, and and anything we do get from Brisbane is, is a bonus, and that we're not relying too heavily on those guys. So, I'm sure whoever we get will be quality. Um, you know, they're going to assemble a very strong roster next year. Mm. Um, you know, a youthful roster, and their twenties have just made the. Just just yeah. went down in the national final, so there's also going to be some. There's obviously some real talent bubbling up from that under twenties. Yeah, no question about this it. Year, so, mm. uh, what about uh, the preseason, mate? For you guys, I'm sure it's only a couple of weeks away now. Do the Broncos get involved in that preseason at all, or does it stay separate until we get closer to the kickoff of the, the regular season? Uh, I think it'll remain fairly separate. Um, they've made it sort of clear that they uh, their, their doors always open to us as a club in terms of. You know, me, me going over there and sitting in on some sessions and, 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 and you know, talking with Wayne and right. and even our strength and conditioning guys have, have the ability to go over and sit in with their guys and and just, um, you know, try and get as much information and, 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 and get, you know, full value out of the relationship. So that, that, that avenue certainly is there. But in terms of, uh, you know, maybe some of their players coming to train with us, I think they'll train full-time with the Broncos squad up until... We get closer to, to, to the games next year. Yeah. Uh, the other thing, mate, before we let you go, uh, it, it's all happening here. We thank you heaps for filling us in on everything that's happening with the Broncos, mate. But what else is happening at the Magpies as we head into the back end of the season? I know you had a presentation night just recently. Yeah, so we had our, our presentation awards night last week. Andrew Edwards took out the uh, the major award, the Player of the Year award. Um, it was a fantastic night. It was held in our newly renovated um, function room upstairs at, at Davies Park and I think anyone who's um, hasn't been there yet would be blown away by the transformation of that room it's it's, it's uh, they've put a lot of time and money into to bringing it up to a, to the standard that it is now so it was a really nice evening um, and but in as for now mate we're just everyone's on a break we'll, we'll commence training on the 10th of November I think in light of the, the, the announcement yesterday I think there's Obviously, a very good feel amongst players, supporters, administration staff about about next year and about the relationship moving forward with Brisbane. I think it's a great. I think, as I said at the top, mate, I think it makes a lot of sense um, that we're working together in the Logan area and, and not sort of against each other. And I think, apart from the benefits for us as a, as a football club, as I said again at the top, it's a, it's a huge day I think for rugby league in the Logan area that that we're now working, uh, us and the Brisbane Broncos are now working alongside each other. Mate, with exciting times ahead for 2015 and beyond. We wish you the very best of luck. Josh Hannay, thanks again for being with us this morning. Thanks, guys. Always a pleasure, mate. We'll take a break. We'll be right back after this.